Uh, places to play in America right up here and it's uh, always been as long as I remember and that's a long time ago a really welcoming place for rock and roll and rock fans thank you so much for coming tonight 
So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Uncle Glenn has been living amongst you for 43 years. Yeah. And you may say, well, why haven't you been over here and see us before? That's a long, long story. Let's just say I don't remember the 1980s. And when I came out of the... <laughs> When I came out of the 1980s, something happened wonderful where I had something happen where I was overseas a lot. So, um, it's important for you to know that this country is my home. I've been living here 43 years and now becoming an American citizen this fall. So, I say that, I listen, if you go on YouTube, I say that every night just simply because I absolutely adore this country. It's the greatest country in the world. I know we're having problems, you know something? We gotta stick together because music, people, music is yeah. the healer and will heal all in the very end. Trust me when I tell you. We're gonna go back a little bit, not that far, only to the 80s, <laughs> where I don't remember, of course. Brother, we have the same thing here. I have a new knee and you have a new knee, right? How was your uh, thing? Was it okay? <laughs> My thing was okay too. Mine's back. Anybody having things done, it's all gonna be okay. So uh, I had a record out with uh, Pat Thrall in 1982. So, so honored to be here. You, oh, you've got to try and visualize how important okay. this is for me. This, this is my very, very oh, first ever solo tour of the country that I am now becoming a citizen of. And I thank you so much for showing up tonight. It means so much. Bless you all as you trudge along the happy road of destiny. Thank you.
Hey, hey. Anytime I see a Tommy Boland t-shirt, I have to stop. I have to, any, anywhere in the world, like if I see, if I can see in the audience, which I can. Thank you so much, Michael. I love you so much. Why am I speaking English when I'm actually going to be American in a minute? Ah, that rock is bloody awful. So thank you. When I see one of my brothers, who I dearly, dearly loved and cherished so much. So I'm going to celebrate Tommy tonight, as we celebrate all those people that are not with us. And I will continue to do that. And if I'm the last man standing, I'll try to do the best I can. Yeah! Um, so let's um, talk about being honoured this year in the Hall of Fame. I want to thank the people who voted for us. That's really, if you did, or you didn't, if you voted for rock bands or rock bands, that's where I'm at. You know, this has uh, been a life that's been freely given to me, and I, for God's sake, I just want to continue to carry the message of love and music throughout this planet in which we live. And I want to, again, thank you for coming this evening. It means so much to me. Thank you. In memory of John Rowland, this is Stormbringer.
Thank you so much. How are you, man? Thank you so much for wearing that shirt. Thank you so much. It means so much to me when I see young, young folks wearing uh, stuff that I've been on. And thank you for carrying the message, my friend. Thank you for carrying the message. So let's talk about a, <laughs> talk about a message. When I was 17, you could get a visual if you wish. It was all hair and legs back, back in the day. I was a man, not a boy, not a girl. I was in my grandmother's kitchen and I um, was starting to write music at a tender age of 16. And by the time I had turned into 17, I wrote this next rock song, which was my first rock song that was uh, published for me back in the day. Um, the band that recorded that song was Trapeze. May you rest in peace, brother Mel Galley. I love you so much. Uh, this song was recorded by Trapeze and Black Country Communion. I know, I love that band too. There's gonna be more of that. Honored to be here, honored to sing for you. I'm all yours. Here we go.
Somebody said, Glenn, your mother says you're an icon. But I think it was something so, sort of like that, but it sounded like icon or mother, but it wasn't that either. I can't say what the young man said. Rather, rather naughty. So here we are, and I'm looking at the list. This is a song I recorded in Los Angeles about 10 years ago with my best friend Chad Smith from the Peppers, and we did. Yeah, life is so good. You just gotta grab hold of it and take it one second at a time. Let it breathe, let it ride. Yeah. Let it howl. How do you feel, Salisville? Let me hear your voices.
so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, I never swallowed a pick. But I thought about it just right before I put the water in my mouth. I've got a pick in your mouth, Glenn, be careful. You know, uh, being as I'm only six, no, no 43. Uh, you know, the movie Nick Cage was drinking the vodka. What was it, Leaving Las Vegas? Every time I drink this water, I know maybe one of you, just one of you are thinking, that's not water. That's about collapse. Mr. Hughes, he's a naughty boy. Yes, he's naughty, all right. I am the man, I also am the woman. <coughs> Excuse me? Is he behind me again? Is he ruining my show? What's all this then? You're so awesome. Thank you. Woo! This is a song I did write. Um, I wrote this with David Coverdale. Yeah. And the truth of the matter is, David and I wrote this to go on the album called <coughs> called, <coughs> called Burn. And um, let's just say that it didn't make it onto Burn or Stormbringer. Not naming names. Because I love all of the gentlemen in that band, still do to this very day. My family. So this ended up on, a, on an album called Come Taste, the band. <laughs> and again, I say to you, so very honoured to be here tonight. Thank you for loving Thank music, you. showing up every 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 show that comes here. You show up, you keep rock music alive. Thank you for my life. Thank you for a, a life that has been freely given to me that can be taken away just like that. Keep coming back. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank yes, thank you. No, no, thank you.
know how to in the world. Honored to be here tonight. God bless you. Thank you for saving rock and roll. Peace, brothers and sisters. See you again. God bless you all. Thank you. You're, you're very kind. You're very kind. Uh, just before we start, I, 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 made, uh, I made a new album, which I haven't done for eight years until this year. It's coming in November. It's always the first Glenn album. And I want to say again that... Uh, Music is the healer. Just remember when you had a, if you had a tough day, you just I know, go home, close the, blind, uh, close the blinds, and put your headphones on and listen to your favorite music because we can, we can all help each other through music. Music is the universal language. It really is. 
And long may it all live, and long may we continue on this road of a happy destiny. God bless you all. Love you to pieces.
for showing up tonight. It means the whole world to me and my family. Thank you. I want to introduce you to these, these young men on stage with me. These, these fellas have been with me before Black Country Communion. I had to take a break and I've come back. Please welcome on Gotham, to from Gothenburg on drums. He's a big, really tall Swedish dude. Say hi to Pontus Engborg, one of the greatest drummers in the world today. There's only three guys up here. There's nobody behind the curtain. And on the guitar, my beautiful guitar player from Copenhagen, Denmark, Mr. Søren Andersen. Not too bad to look at either. God bless America. God bless all of you people here tonight. You mean, it means so much to come home to the country I live in and play here for you. And I am so blessed. And God bless you all. Thank you so very much. Stay close to one another, people. Stay free. Stay free. We love you. God bless. <laughs>